Hey guys, welcome to Restobin. My name is Kushal and in this video I'm going to show you how to install WordPress on the LAMP stack on a powerful server. So in the recent video I showed you uh, how to create a LAMP stack. Uh, we have logged in using SSH and SFTP to uh, create a LAMP stack uh, server and uh, in this video what we are going to do on the top of that LAMP stack we are going to add WordPress installation. So I created an article on this uh, which is published on my uh, website uh, that is restobin.com so you can see uh, this article has all the information about uh, how we created the LAMP stack uh, using a, a SSH what the WordPress means uh, I'm, you, I'm pretty much sure that everyone knows what the WordPress is because you're visiting this page then you should obviously know what WordPress is uh, so and uh, also uh, in this video I'm going to show how to point your domain name from the domain registrar uh, you have to point your domain name to the IP address so that uh, whenever you search for a domain name it will resolve into the uh, website so that would be taken care in this video apart from that there are a couple of other uh, setup like a MySQL database setup as well as uh, Nginx setup uh, that we are going to take care in this entire video so stay till end guys uh, this is going to be really interesting and uh, thoroughly installing the WordPress on your powerful LEM stack so let's get start so first of all what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to uh, set up my registrar to point my domain name to the server ip address so uh, recently i created this lamp stack uh, server uh, in uh, digital ocean and this is my ip address so uh, if i uh, access this ip address uh, you can see it's taking me to welcome to nginx because i already installed the nginx in my previous uh, video so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to point the uh, domain registrar. So I already registered the domain name restobin.com. So what I'm going to use is the subdomain of a restobin. So like uh, demo.restobin.com. If you have, uh, say suppose if you are registering a new domain name, or if you don't have a domain name, you can use Google domains, which I pretty much preferred. Or you can also use uh, GoDaddy, which also has a all the features that we need as a domain registrar so i'm using the google domains and already have a restobin.com so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add demo.restobin.com and that should be pointing to my ip address so just go to open that uh, domain name that you want to add and uh, go into the dns setup so in this dns setup uh, if you scroll you can see there are a couple of uh, dns setup which are already there so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add demo.restobin.com and that should be pointing to my ip address which is uh, uh, the digital ocean ip address so let me just copy this ip address keep it handy so i would be entering demo.restobin.com and make sure that this is a record and the ttl can be anything so just keep it as default and ip address should be the one which you just copied from DigitalOcean. just add this so now if i go down you can see here my demo uh, is been added as a record so this will take some time to propagate into your dns server so if i go and visit now uh, in the incognito mode demo dot restobin so here you can see it's uh, navigated me to the welcome to nginx which was earlier my ip address used so you can also verify using a ping so this is the ping value that you will come so let me open my terminal and just type ping and demo dot restorebin.com so what you need to see is if the IP address that is uh, your server IP address matches with the ping uh, response reply so you can see that the server IP address and the response that we are receiving from is uh, matching so that means our propagation is done so in this way you can uh, verify if uh, your DNS is propagated or not let me clear this 
Okay, so uh, moving on to uh, creating the MySQL database and users for WordPress. So WordPress needs three things in terms of MySQL. So first it need a database where it can store all the data. It need a user which will be uh, having a password and that will be used for accessing the database to query and retrieve all the data. So what we're going to do is uh, now we are going to log in into our MySQL and create dummy database name and user. So let me log in using this command. So this will l help you to log in as a root. So let me enter my password here. So I've logged in uh, into my MySQL. And now let me create a database. So I have uh, some demo records that I have already created. So I wouldn't suggest you to use this exactly same database and the username. Uh, make sure that you have a different usernames and the database while creating this uh, records. So let me quickly open my visual code. Uh, I would be hiding my screen guys. So created. So I created the database. Second command I'm going to create the user which is this command. And uh, the last command is uh, granting the permission. Okay. So once uh, this is done. So we have a uh, created the user granted the permissions and next we are going to flush the privileges so that these uh, changes that we made like uh, creating the records and granting the permission will be committed so flush the privileges and then finally exit let me clear this one okay so uh, i have exited from my sql now so this uh, database uh, details will we will be using for configuring the WordPress at the end. So let's move on to configuring the Nginx for domain. So in previous video when we created the LEM stack uh, what we did is we adjusted some of the uh, values in the default uh, configuration file which was present under this uh, location. So what we are going to do is we are going to change the three things in here. So first the server name uh, we would be changing it to demo.restorebin.com or whatever the domain name that you are created or you are going to use. Second we are going to define the server block the root folder uh, which is going to be this one. And the third uh, I would be addressing some of the script and uh, location file uh, to to consider a WordPress uh, index.php file as default the uh, error pages. So this is how the final file will look now. So let me open my SFTP connection. So if I navigate to this page, this location. So this is the same default file. Let me open it. Let me bring it to my screen. Okay. So now first thing is I would be changing my server name. So currently my server name is uh, set to the IP address. So just replace with demo.bistobin.com. So we have made the first change. Second is uh, the server root block. So here the root block is var www.html. So I would be changing this to demo. And uh, third is uh, to make changes in my location file. So here is the location file. So here you can see it's try files uh, for not for URL. So instead of that, what we're going to do is we're going to comment this so that this won't be considered. And uh, instead of that, we are going to ask Nginx to read the WordPress. Now rest everything you can leave at as it is. Just save this. It will ask to upload. Just finish. And yes. So once the upload is done, you can just uh, test your Nginx if there are any configuration errors. If they, so it says the configuration is okay. Now just restart your Nginx. 
now moving on to downloading the wordpress files so we have already set up the mysql and we all already uh, made the nginx to read the root domain for wordpress installation so in this what we are going to do is we are going to download the wordpress file we are going to uh, edit the configuration file and then uh, copy that uh, file into wordpress root folder and then we are going to install so let me just change the directory to temp folder and in this temp folder I would be downloading the WordPress so it's suggested to download the latest version of WordPress every time so this will download the latest version so it's already done now unzip the file using this command so it's unzip now and uh, what we are going to do is uh, there will be a wp config sample file and we are going to create the wp config file out of that so this command will create a copy of it once it is done so we can just copy this entire extract into our uh, root folder that we have uh, assigned in the nginx so let's just copy this code and paste it in here so entire folder is now copied now add the ownership to that file so that all the files and folders are readable and now let's edit the config file using our sftp so let me again open this my folder is installed at var www demo me drag this so here you can see the config file and the sample file so we'll just open this config file now so here you can see the username the database name and user so we are going to enter the all the mysql data here and we are also going to create a secret key here so using this command we can just create the secret key uh, let me clear this one and change the directory to root okay just paste this one so you can just copy these all values so I'm going to hide this values and uh, replace in this one so just save it now we have added the secret keys here so next is we are going to uh, define the database uh, like we are going to change the database a name user and password with the one which we have created the mysql so I'm going to hide this so I copied my database name entered in here my user enter the username and then password pasted the password as well okay I forgot one thing uh, we need to also define this FS method so this is the file system which helps in uh, editing the WordPress files and the folders so let me quickly again open these scroll to the bottom and copy this paste it and now let me upload this back okay so now your WordPress configuration is completed so all we need to do is now just uh, access the domain name in the browser and then uh, install the WordPress. So let me open my domain name which is demo.restoven and then just control V enter. Okay, uh, maybe I need to restart my server once because I made a lot of changes. So just type reboot. Just refresh. error establishing a database connection okay so I just uh, reloaded once again and uh, it's giving me the option to select the language just select uh, whatever language so I will select it, the English United States site title so I would be entering as restore bin demo username So password, uh, you you can keep this one or you can just change it to something else. So let me change it to something else now. The email address. So thank you. Dmatherit.com. 
So this is done. So I entered my site title, username, password, as well as the email ID. So this is the demo site. I don't want search engine to display my search results. However, uh, in your case, I would suggest you to uh, disable this checkbox. Don't enable this because it will hide the site from the search engine and lose the organic traffic. Let me proceed with installation and then save my password here that's it guys uh, we have successfully installed the wordpress on the lamp stack now uh, let us just log in once and see how the dashboard will look like so my password is already saved here just hit on login so this is the dashboard the wordpress dashboard and the uh, we are going to walk through this dashboard in a couple of videos the next videos uh, i would be also walking you through the settings as well as the plugin and appearance theme settings everything so we are going to have more videos on wordpress so keep checking this i hope this helps uh, let me know if you have any comments thanks and have a great day